Greetings, sir and sirette, and welcome back to TerraTech with me, Lathrix, and of course, welcome back to the R&D mode where today we're going to build something which can actually be built in the current campaign. It's been so, so long since I've built anything like this because I've been messing around with all the new stuff, but now it's time to use some of the new systems in the old campaign. Now, I am very much considering starting the campaign fresh as soon as Better Future is an official corporation within the campaign mode. At the moment, it simply isn't, so I would just be redoing everything like before. But there are so many new things, I think a new campaign is warranted. So tell me what you think about that in the comments, because I am a little bit worried about starting again again. I don't want to redo too many similar things, but at the same time, I feel like we've sort of finished the game currently in the regular campaign. We have everything we could possibly want, so a lot of the new stuff would just be ignored. Anyway, let's talk more about today. Let's talk more about the short term. In front of you, you see two types of copter. The main difference between them is that the one on the left does not use the hoverbug, the one on the right does. And sadly, with the new update, neither of them work correctly anymore. So today we're finally building a brand new helicopter. Helicopters are by far my favourite build type in this game, and hopefully, with all the new systems, what I really, really want is this. I want the forward and backwards movement to be controlled purely by the pitch. I don't want to use acceleration at all. Maybe I will as well for very small movements, but this should be the main way the copter moves. I'm hoping this is viable in the game. I did a small test run and honestly, it didn't go well. But I'm thinking it's because I'm a dum-dum, not that this is possible. Oh, this is also a drone which also uses the hoverbug. In fact, let's have a quick test. Can this thing still work? So, yep, the drone still works, just the helicopters don't. It's more because the copters were built very specifically back in the day. This is a more general design, so it hasn't really been affected. Yeah, this instantly goes and just works fine with the new controls. No problem at all. Now, one thing to note is this. I didn't realise this, but the regular fans and such, they don't stay on when you let go of lift. That only happens with the new rotors like these. These will actually stay on. So if I now hold down shift, as you can see, I let go and it stays on. Oh, so these will stay on if you have a rotor, I see. So that activates the different settings. That's smart. That's really smart. Okay, Lathrix learned something. Let's continue building something new. Now, what I would really like is to use the auto cannons. Now that we can almost hover in place, an auto cannon would be amazing. The problem is, the recoil on this thing is just horrendous. Even on the larger builds, that is really, really bad. But what I want to test out is... Oh, no, I can't use these, can I? Because they're better future. I was going to say, how about the air brakes? Would they be able to fully counter... That? I doubt they would anyway, but... Yeah, they don't even seem to activate, even though I'm not pressing backwards. I guess it counts as, yep, yeah, as long as they're firing, it counts as movement, as in an input. That's a shame. Now, I know I haven't really started the build yet, but I've been thinking about quite a few things. One more thing we need to consider is gyroscopes. Are we going to use them? And if so, how many? The reason is this. I do think we need at least one very weak gyroscope, so the helicopter will naturally want to be upright. It'll want to always have the rotor facing directly upwards. But we need it to be weak enough that when we start to cause our lift to change, our pitch to change in order to move, it can do that. Because if it can't do that, then really we've kind of missed the whole point. Oh, hello. Okay, <laughs> that made me jump. Hello. <laughs> I was just messing around to see just how the pitch system works now. <laughs> and apparently I wasn't quite as high up as I thought. Well, it definitely works. Go forwards, go backwards. Now, one thing I think think is more than feasible is just using these regular rotors on the back rather than these weird rotor fans and I was not paying attention. Yeah, still getting used to the new controls. I've got to be honest, I find the new controls significantly more difficult to handle than the old ones, but I think it's purely because I am so used to the old version, which is 
well, years and years of experience now of playing. Okay, that's far more extreme than I expected, but still. Let's go with a quadcopter. Yeah, I think this could work, considering how bad this looks, but it still looks pretty darn nice, even though it's such a bad looking design, it still looks functional and quite cool, honestly. It's really interesting how the pitch system works when you have rotors, it completely changes all of them. Really cool, though. Did I mention I love the new update? Because I really love the new update. Reverse! Don't hit the floor. Good. Good. I just realised I have no ability to turn currently. And let's not hit the floor. Cool. That is so cool. Now, here's the problem. I really don't want to use missiles again. I am now really getting sick of missiles. But because of recoil, every time I've tested out other weapons, even on heavier helicopters than this, the recoil just makes them near unusable. And I really want to use something like the dual auto cannons because they would just be so cool to use on this. What about mortars? I mean, it's not as easy to use as missiles, at least, but still. Still, the recoil makes things a lot more difficult. Yeah. That's a lot better when it comes to turning. So, I am considering... Going back to the control scheme before the patch, that is just for this one thing, rather than having roll, just using forwards and backwards with some in internal rotors. That would make this way easier to handle. And would mean that things like mortars would be more viable, that's the thing. Now, am I willing to lose this mode of acceleration? I don't know, because I absolutely love how this thing looks and how different it is to the old style of copters, but... Being able to move forward a little bit with internal rotors would just be so much easier. Also, I've almost balanced strife, which is quite nice. Yeah, that is far easier. Not quite as fun looking though, but far more pleasant to watch, almost. And like I said before, because it's so much more stable now, especially with smaller movements, I can use weapons like mortars with a greater ease, because I just don't want to use missiles again! Have I finally found a use for the Zeus cannon? The Zeus laser cannon, to be more specific. These seem to track incredibly well. Very, very fast shots, and even when I'm moving, they still mostly hit the target, unless I'm doing something extreme like that. That's interesting. So if I had loads of those, would that be a worthwhile weapon, is the question. Also, I need to get better at just balancing height. Well, it's not going to be the most destructive craft of all time. That is a bit of a problem, and its range is a little bit lacking. And considering I don't want this thing to have shields, because I just don't want this thing to have shields, so I can't turn them off right now since I don't have a better future, well, maybe mortars are still the better option, especially now recoil is less of an issue.
So these are the smaller mortars from Hawkeye. They are much, much lighter and tend to track really well, as you can see. Oh, that's pretty good. So unless the enemy are using something like missiles, this will probably take out anything. Yeah, there we go, that one's dead. Very, very easy to fire on the move as well, since the mortars can rotate. So I've decided we're going to be having the best of both worlds. We are indeed going to be having pitch controls, although a little bit more muted. And we are also going to have the regular rotors on the inside. This way we can decide which one we want to use at any given time. This way we can go much faster than we were before. And I still have all the control I want once we're in combat. I just don't use the pitch anymore. I don't know why I didn't consider this to be a viable option from the start, honestly. Spending way too much time on this design. Early days. Early days. Okay, well that worked. Just finish you off. Move in range of the next target. There we are. Okay, I think this is going to be the end design. Small mortars, quite a light, cheap craft, honestly. Just to get used to the new controls more than anything else. This will not be the final design of the campaign, I've decided. What we're going to do is build a much larger helicopter in the future, most likely, honestly, using missiles. But for now, I want to take this into the campaign and just get used to the controls, get used to how the rotors feel and work, because I feel like my lack of experience is stopping me from building well. I know it sounds really silly, my lack of experience with the gameplay, but it really is. Oh, hello. You have longer range weapons than expected. Let's just back off a little bit. Our stuff can track better than theirs can, but sadly ours are not very powerful. Uh, let's just get out of here. Okay, let's just load this into the campaign. Then what we can do is we can get a lot more practice in. Yeah, it seems reasonable to me. Also, one problem with having both of these controls, if I use them both at the same time, the rotors on the inside will force us towards the ground, because obviously when, once we're tilted like this, the rotors are now pointing down. It still increases our speed a little bit over just rotors on their own, but... Not by a huge amount. I do feel like specialising into one or the other would be better as well. So lots of things to learn. Lots of things to learn indeed. So with that, let's get to the campaign. Let's build this. Back in the campaign. And, oh, for some reason, my controls are no longer inverted, which is really, really weird for me. Oh, God, yeah, it's really weird. Okay, we need to change that, like, right now. Otherwise, that's going to eventually get me killed. Though saying that, we're just taking this back to base. That is so weird having those two controls separate. Still pretty awesome though. Nice simple turn, super sharp turn. Once again, non-inverted controls, as someone who's used to inverted controls, that is horrendous. Okay, so let's swap this over, shall we? There we are, apply an exit, so now... There we go, back to my controls, lovely. Hopefully we're fairly close to home. Well, with that lag, I'm assuming... Hello, crafting base. Laggy as ever, I see. Lovely, because who needs frame rate when you have capitalism and weaponry? Okay, so... I forgot how bad this thing is on the ground. Basically non-functioning. All of my other aircraft... Oh, yeah, I didn't even add wheels to that quadcopter. That's something I need to consider. Either way. So what do I need then? Let's have another look, see our craft. I believe we don't need all that much, honestly. We just need a few specific things. I know we need the, the small mortars. Oh, or it could have been I didn't assign a key to the wheels. That might explain why it wasn't moving. So I need 14 of these lovely little mortars. That should be fairly straightforward, assuming that everything is still working. What am I missing? It's currently not working. Why not? Do I have any blue? Yes, we do. You're lying there, I'm afraid. 
Nothing seems connected. Why aren't you connected? Okay, what's going on here? What is wrong? That's going the correct way. Well, something is broke since the patch because I see no major problems other than for some reason nothing is seemingly connected to this. If I replace it, then do that again, will it work this time? Well, that is very, very worrying indeed. Why on earth are those not counted as connected? Annoyed face. Okay, I've got it to work. Despite the fact that this was definitely going the correct way, after flipping it around once, it then started to work. So I just went, this goes one way, then back the other way, and then it suddenly decided, oh yeah, that is all connected, Lathrix. You're right, lad, you're right. Oh yeah, we have some of those that's ready built, don't we? Yeah, this shouldn't be too bad. I think I'm going to have every material ready for everything. I think we have quite a few. Yeah, look at all these spare blocks we have. It's been so long since I've made anything. I'm also glad that was the only fix, because honestly, if there was much more to that, I would have just went ahead and probably bought them from the shops. Which would have been really sad, since we've avoided doing that almost the entire game. Or at least this campaign. Although, we are sending through too many resources by the looks of things, which is curious. Why are you doing that now? I stopped that from happening before, why is it happening now? You know what? It's not a major issue. It just goes back up here anyway, so... Well, it's meant to go back up there, but for some reason it's now getting stuck on that track. Yep, the lifting tracks are definitely broken. Uh, maybe if I do this with these ones, this will also be a fix. Oh, no, they do not like going up there. Okay, I have no idea what's going on there. I've, you know what? Not enough time today. I'm going to pretend I didn't see that. Lathrex, why are you recording the loading screen? You don't normally do that because the lag which is caused when you first load into the game. Well, the reason is this is the fifth time loading into the game after my game started to crash. You see that there? It's really hard to see and they can't zoom in any further right now whilst I'm still in this tech. But right there, there's a step conveyor which has no movement tile at all, like you've just placed it on its own. If I try to change this in any way, it crashes the game. It seems like one of the issues is that for some reason these step conveyors aren't counting as part of the main system. Now, that can sometimes be fixed, but not always. Please don't crash. Okay, reverse. Now I think that first step will be fixed. There we go. But now this one is now no longer counting. So we reverse it. Then we put it forward. It'll go one further up. We reverse it. We go one further up. You can see the point I'm trying to make. There we go. Now it's back. But for some reason, this one, whilst doing that did this, and if I try to do it to that, it will hard crash the game. So I'm going to pretend that isn't a problem. Also, it seems like, once again, this is desynced. Yeah, so I need to do this. There we go, now it's working. This is clearly a bug in this patch. Now don't worry, this is the patch which is still on unstable for a reason. It's the beta patch. Things like this will be broken, it's to be expected. And we are done. You can cancel that. We now have the quad within the world. Lovely. Now with this, I am wondering if the... Oh wait, no. What I was about to say is about some of the better future items. Remember, we can't use better future. The computer which will allow us to stay still more easily, that can't be used. I can't use any of the air brakes. There are so many things which would make this better. That's why what I'm thinking is that the final build of the campaign will wait until Better Future is out for the campaign. Then we'll build one final creation and then begin the world anew and discover Better Future as we go. Although it will take a while to get Better Future since I assume they're going to be the final um, corporation you can get at the moment. I still think that's probably the best idea. Do you think so? I really would love some feedback on this, because I don't know where to take it right now. I think I'm at this point with TerraTech where I'm not sure where to go forwards. Now, where am I going to add wheels to this thing? Which corporation has the... Aha! There we are! Okay, so now we can check our altitude. That's going to be really, really handy. And I just added the radar after forgetting. There we are. So that way I can start getting used to just how much lift we need to actually cause us to fly into the air. So 
So right now, way too much. Okay. We have entered the void. I think I've just thought about one change to these controls I would really love, and it's honestly quite simple. And it's just to set the default lift to a certain amount. So let's say the default is at around about 60, which seems to be close to keeping us stable. And then if I press shift, it will allow us to lift upwards. I let go of shift, it then goes back to 60. It goes back to trying to keep us in place. Now, the steering controls, the steering assistant from Better Future does something very similar to that, but not quite to the level I'm talking about. And I think that would make this a lot easier, because right now, trying to, to change our altitude and then get back to a decent um, hovering position is really, really difficult. Sorry, Tiny Tech. Anyway, just a random thought. It is lovely being able to fly this thing at such a stable height so easily. Hello. You get to live. Not the best landing, but certainly not the worst. Let's see. Sure, supply drop, let's do that. That is over yonder. There is a delivery crate somewhere. Well, I'll try and look out for it, but I'm notoriously bad at this type of mission. Um... I cannot see it, and I am in the air, which is a bit of a problem. Is that there, or is that a rock? I believe that's the rock. 20 seconds left, still can't see it. Um, yeah, I... Oh, there it is, there it is! I must have gone right over it. Come on, as fast as we can. Boing. There we are. Stuff. Find the escaped convict, okay? Let's get up and then let's slow down the lift so we're about stable. See? I am getting there. I am learning. I am learning. But all of my old instincts are fighting me right now. And that should really be it. Yeah, got him. Nice work. And a nice slow descent. And we get a turkey. Excellent. Okay, I've decided I'm going to call the episode here. I was going to record a little bit more, but here's the thing. I feel like I need way more practice for this, and it's going to be very, very boring footage. Also, I want to build a copter which is indeed using this type of movement. This copter just doesn't work for that. It just simply doesn't. So I'm going to build a missile copter with that type of movement incredibly soon. So expect that video much sooner than the last video to this video. There won't be quite as much of a time gap. Either way, though, I really do hope you've enjoyed the video. I've enjoyed testing out a lot of the new movement types, even though I don't know how much footage I've just got. A lot of it was me just messing around doing things I've done before, but with new controls, which you can't really see because it's all on my end. Well, hopefully I made it fun-ish anyway. So if you have enjoyed the video, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff, helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that TerraTech is a series you wish to see continued in the future. I promise the next video won't be weeks away. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.